Overnight, uh, crypto lender Celsius announcing it's pausing all withdrawals, the controversial lending platform citing what they're calling extreme market conditions for its decision. The firm has uh, seen its value of its assets drop by more than half since October, and its token sell has now erased 97, I'm going to say it again, 97 percent of its value in the same time frame. Take a look at Bitcoin right now and some of the other cryptocurrencies because it is a bloodbath this morning. Uh, Bitcoin down now under 24,000. We're at $23,609. Ether coming down 20%. We're at $1,186. Join us right now to discuss it all. Anthony Scaramucci, Skybridge Capital founder and CNBC contributor. Anthony, it's, it's good to see you. Um, and I want to get your thoughts on a morning uh, like this. It kind of feels like we are, I don't know if we're doing a full round trip, but uh, we're getting close. Oh, well, a full round trip on crypto or the overall market. I mean, I, 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 think, I think both are in question right now because as you and I both know, interest rates going up, one to 2% rise in interest rates easily take 10 to 15% out of the market, Andrew. So. Uh, everything's being impacted. But watching you guys this morning, it makes me think of March of 2000. Unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember that, where Internet stocks were cratering. Many of the Web 1 stories went to zero. And then, of course, there were a few uh, gems, things like Amazon, that went on to do very well. And I, I, I am encouraged by the fact that Bitcoin is above 50 percent of the overall crypto market cap right now. Uh, which is, again, another sign that there's a flight to quality there. Now, of course, Celsius is putting pressure on it uh, the same way that the Luna Terra situation put pressure on it about six weeks ago. So uh, we're in a bloodbath. Uh, this is my eighth bear market. I expect to survive this one as well. Uh, but I think it's I just caution people to stay unlevered, uh, but keep to your long-term investment discipline. Everybody has a long-term perspective until they have short-term losses, Andrew, right. uh, and then they start to set their hair on fire and run around in a circle. I would recommend people just stay disciplined. Uh, and like Joe, don't look at your 401k statement. But Anthony, does, does staying disciplined mean buying on a day like today? Are you out there? I mean, you have been bullish on Bitcoin. If you're a true stacker, is this the time to stack? Listen, I, I certainly think so. And with incremental cash that comes into our funds, we have bought more Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, we have a, a private stake in FTX. FTX is doing very well. It's gaining market share uh, and is a profitable company. Um, so, yes, I mean, the, the, the truth be told, people will look back on this debacle and say, I wish I had fresh cash to buy into that. Could it leg down some more? Certainly. Uh, we, we're, we all know that whatever you think cannot happen on Wall Street likely does happen. Uh, and so we're, we're ready for every scenario. But I think Anthony, the key what, thing it, is internally, is when you say it could leg down, when you say it could leg down yeah. to your partners and, and you look at the, the risk reward, what's, what's the low in your mind? And also, what's the opportunity in your mind, short term? Well, it would be impossible for me to predict the low, but if you were at consensus last week in Austin and you saw all of the robust development that's going on in Web3 and you see the money that's being deployed, uh, I think that the, the upside is enormous. I still believe that Bitcoin can easily get to $100,000 uh, a coin over the next 12 to 24 months, but you're going to have to settle out where the markets are. Uh, and, and listen, we could get better inflation data by the end of the year as the pandemic subsides and as the supply chain right. starts to get more connected, Andrew. So uh, lots of bad news out there. Everybody I know, I was at the Yankee game yesterday, everybody I know is resoundingly bearish. Uh, that's usually a good sign. You and I were in Davos, Switzerland yep. a few short weeks ago. Everybody resoundingly bearish. The last time people were that bearish was in 2009. Uh, when I was in Davos. So uh, there's a lot of contrary indicators out there. I can't predict the future, but what I can see is there's a tremendous amount of robust development and, and adoption. Remember, these right. investment banks in 2018, they shelved their cryptocurrency ideas. Today, they're doing derivative trades in things like Ethereum. I don't think there's any going back. Uh, lots of good information out there, lots of positives as right. it relates to fundamentals. Just the price action is terrible right now.